and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial now I'm going to create a database so using SQLite browser so let's see it's coming up there guys I have my SQLite browser you guys can always copy it you can always download it online and install it I will include a link for where to for where you can get the the application itself and get it installed now let's create a new database I'm going to go in here new database okay I want to use these following names and I'm going to give it a name let's just call it student student yeah that's fine and I'm going to save it inside my project folder itself so let's search for that right here that's my project folder so I'm going to click on save okay the editing area is ready so I'm going to give the, uh, the table a name I will just call it student now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on add field the field I want the first one I want to add will be student student ID and the student ID I'm just going to make that text make that my primary key and okay create another one the other one is going to be course code followed by first name let's do that again that should be course code and change that to text the next one here it's going to be first name that is text as well add another one I think the next one let's just grab I'm going to grab the mobile number okay let's just say do we really need mobile no student ID and so on okay let's go for add mass so we can just finish up on time and the next one is going to be mass right and then it add mass Okay, then we have business and under the business I have biology okay I'm gonna click on OK for now so that I can move this okay yeah Just reduce that kind of uh, we can see what we have to do okay let's select and go to modify continue let's yeah, save now the next one and the next one is going to be chemistry Now we need the total total score. Average then 
finally ranking in the case of ranking ranking is going to be text the rest of them are just numbers okay that is fine so that's my database created I'm going to click on OK and if you want to modify you can just click on modify select it and modify it so that's fine anyway right my database is completed so let's save and just exit save yeah it's saved right in there anyway okay i'm going to close that okay let's have a look at the database right there that's the database created but it's not populated though now the next thing i like to do is let me exit out of here and is if you don't have sql installed on your program you go to tools let's do that first go to tools here and we need now package manager and just select that click on that click on the package manager okay the this shows up okay manage package for solution so in there I need SQL light so let's search for SQL light like there we go okay this is uh, this has about 2.38 million download and this is about 3.53 million download I'm going to click on this one this must be very popular select that then the next thing is look at the name of my file there so I'm going to check that once that is checked everything here is checked now I just click on install yeah and that is it it's installing okay it's saying it's about to make changes to the solution click on ok yeah I'm gonna click on ok that's fine you see that installing system data SQL alright okay we're done now so I'm gonna close that I don't need it anymore so back to my project so let's double click on the form itself double click on the form and right up here I'm going to import as follows so right above above public let's say import system dot okay that will be data and that will be dot sql dot SQL SQL light there we go and that's all there is to that so I've imported SQL light on board okay now guys that we've imported SQL light I am now going to go to my to the form load right here so what I intend to do on the form load is to connect to my SQL so I'm going to say dim connect as uh, SQ as new SQ lights connection that would be for connection SQL light connection connection should be there somewhere there we go double click on it yeah that's it I've imported the one I intend to use so I'm now going to say dot okay open a bracket and I now need to use data source is inside now let's let's look for where my data is I'm going to go for go to the area where I save my data you see it's saved right inside my project called VB student SQL lights database so double click on that and right there that's the student data okay I'm now going to come up here you see the name of my project right click on it and I will then copy address as text there 
I've copied that address come back in here and I'm gonna paste that there now the name of my project as we all know is called students as the name of the database so I'm gonna put backslash here and then enter student dot D B that's all okay I have imported the the table now the next thing I will do is let's open it up say this very connect dot open enter parenthesis I would also declare another variable this variable will be for the SQL command itself so I'm gonna call that SQL command so that will be the name of my variable okay and I'm it's more or less like an object I'm gonna say as new SQL SQL command there we go so double click on that and this SQL command what I want you to do is to connect this my connect so I'm going to say copy that SQL command do this for me dot connection grant also connection for this my variable call connect there that is that done now whatever text I have as well I want the X SQL command dot command text let's say is equals as follows select all from my database call students okay now the next thing is I want you to read so I'm gonna call that SQL reader that's another variable read so then SQL read as SQL that would be data read yeah there will go data reader there and I will now say this data reader should do the following SQL light command that I declare here dot execute reader there okay now let's do one more thing the next thing is I now need the data data table so let's I'm going to call that SQL data data table okay so that is my variable let me just call it DT DT SQL DT that will stand for my data table okay let's say as new data as new data table there we go just like we have in the other one okay so we have the connection part of it we have the executor and now uh, we have data table all right so we now say data table I would like you to load as follows okay I want you to load the reader open a bracket and what do you want me to do load up the reader so SQL SQL read right yeah it should load up the read there we go now that we've loaded up the read okay okay all of those ones are done so the next thing is let's close up SQL reader dot close and I will also close my connector here copy that just paste that here dot close 
here now finally my data grill if you guys can still remember data grill view one okay dot data source right here and the data source equals sql dt this one data table and there we go that's it so if I run it now, you guys won't see anything because I haven't entered any record on my SQL. So let's open that up on the let's open up the browser. I'm gonna open it here. That's it. Let's go to to browse student student so ID course code CC as a course code name Tony Montana. Add mass on let's say 78 mass business 90 biology chemistry and just populate that and say computing English physics okay okay let's run the system now and see how it works there we go guys you can see all of the information on the data grid view and that is that of Tony Montana and some other candidate that have entered their details all right so now that we have we've got the data grid view working the next thing I would like to do is when we whatever information is entered in here I would like to be able to click on student result and populate that on the data review and um, also to be able to click on the transcripts and receive whatever we want then delete so we only need to work on those three buttons now okay 